Hi, Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. My name is Faith. And my name is Michael. And we are the, the Star Wars Lovers. Lovers. Oh. <laughs> Alright, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome, we've missed you. And yeah. if you're new here, we are the Stalwart Lovers and we theme on faith, relationship and, and lifestyle. lifestyle. So <laughs> smash the subscribe button, join us in this family on this journey and then you're going to enjoy it. Yay! So babe, what are we doing today? Yeah, so today we are discussing <laughs> a topic that has been bothering on a lot of people's minds. I mean, we'll be getting questions in DMs and um, comment sections. It's the question of how far is too far in the God relationship, of course. Mm, I mean, everybody wants to know, am I going too far with my engaged spouse, mm. with my Christian brother who we are dating? You yeah. Know? And so today, we want to give you our opinion. Yes, and that's the disclaimer. Disclaimer, right? <laughs> our opinion on this topic yeah. And what we think the Bible says on this topic. Now, yes. we are here in parts and we interpret in parts. Mm -hmm. So if you read your Bible and it says differently from what we are about to say, that's totally fine. fine. I cannot, I'm not the Holy Spirit that interprets the Bible to you. Yeah. Of course, but for in our opinion, we we'll just give you what our opinion is and then that's it. Alright, so let's jump right into the video. Mm. Today, let me just put it this way. We are going to be talking from like black lines. Let's let's imagine we have black, we have white, and then we have gray lines. <laughs> so let's start from the obviously black, then we'll not go down to the grayer and the grayer and the fainter lines. Mm, like not so bad. <laughs> not so bad, <laughs> but you know, still dangerous. So let's let's go straight to the black lines. To the obviously black. And that is S E X. Let's just put it that way. Um, well, I, and, and for the purpose of this video, let's use let's use in the house spot. <laughs> okay. So the obviously black, the no no, everybody knows it's wrong. Yeah. Fornication. In the house spot. In the house spot. So mm -hmm. intercourse. Yes. In, in in short, like if you are a Christian and you want to serve God, everybody knows that this is wrong. So let's just not. Let's go to Alpha is too far. Not <laughs> Alpha is too far. That they 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 they. You know. All yeah. Right. So looking at those lines, definitely the Bible says that marriage is honorable in all. Yeah. And the bed on the filed. Mm -hmm. Um, intercourse or in house pot, as we would want to say, is meant strictly for marriage. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. there's really no way you can paint that. That is obviously black. That's so, not even grey. So for yeah. a Christian, the bed is a marriage bed yeah, yeah and that's a christian who is married the bed is a marriage bed mm -hmm. but for a christian who is not married and finds himself on that bed it's like utter of sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that is that is that for the black or say a sinful bed yeah yeah so that's that's for the blacks so after the black there's now this blackish <laughs> and that is uh we don't have intercourse but we do every other thing yeah i hear that in a lot uh things like make out make out cuddling cuddling i mean give me the words seeing uh, each other naked literally yes yeah, seeing each other naked dry mm. humping yeah touching each other's bodies yeah tapping current mm -hmm. like these things are setting you ablaze. In fact, we're already going to the gray areas. Yeah. Let's stay in the black, blackish. The makeouts, the the naked activities where you don't have intercourse itself. Yeah. But then you feel, okay, we are not having intercourse, so we are still fine. Yeah. But no, that is not fine because that is already engaging your body yeah. in an act of lustful pleasure. Mm -hmm. So... When the Bible talks about the bodies of Christians, it says your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So God dwells in our, in body. our bodies. And, yeah. and that makes us understand that we should not take our bodies and be joined to a harlot. Mm -hmm. Neither should we you know, defile the temple of God. The Bible says, he that defiles the temple of God, God shall judge. God shall condemn. And it is God that is judging. It's, it's, it's not time. man. It's not it's God. man. <laughs> and also, another important thing is that God has bought 
our bodies with a price. The Bible says, For ye have been bought with a price. Yeah. Therefore glorify God in your bodies, which are God's. So your body belongs to God and not to any guy or any lady that you are in a relationship with. Yeah. When you are married lawfully, then your body also belongs to your spouse, your married spouse. Yeah. So in that, in that regard, every activity that involves your body in the form of lustful pleasure yeah. in the relationship mm -hmm. is ungodly. The Bible frowns against it. However you want to interpret that scripture to you, that's now left to you, but the Bible frowns against it. So that one also is too far. It's like All right? too far. So we've established some too far. Now right? let's go down to the gray areas where mm -hmm. I know if people want to, you know, they want to hear our opinions and they probably disagree with us. I know a lot of you will probably disagree with us at this junction. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So these gray areas, and let me just take it like this. It starts from the heart. Yeah. The heart. So, the foundation here is that every Christian who desires to, you know, please God. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that the, the reason why some people ask this question, how far is too far, yeah. is because something in them feels like, I hope I'm not going too far. I hope I'm not displeasing God. I hope and I'm at the not same time, they, they also want to go. It just feels sweet. You know, it feels sweet. See, it's I put it on my status one time that you know. sin is sweet. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. It only has a bitter aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Now, so every Christian that wants to please God and wants to do the will of God, yeah. you know, would have that question in their hearts like, should I be doing this? Mm -hmm. I hope I'm not sinning and yeah. stuff like that. So because of that, because your intention is to please God and not man, you're not looking at the validation of your pastor, of your parents, of your friends. It's not about that your friend that says it is wrong, but it's yeah. about what God says. It's about what God says. Then God is saying that, I, the Lord, I search all hearts. I check your intent of your heart. I check the reins and the arteries. Mm -hmm. That means God is interested in what goes on in our heart, in our minds now. You know, our yeah. heart and our minds are connected. So God is interested in what goes on in our hearts. And God is so petty about mm -hmm. what goes on in our hearts that Jesus said, quoted mm -hmm. Jesus' word, he said, if a man looks upon another woman lustfully, yeah. he has committed adultery with her in his heart that means god considers lust as adultery oh does it make everybody fornicators and adulterers because a lot of us battle with lust well biblically yes yeah reality re realistically speaking but then we are growing and learning to uh not be lustful beings and be spirit beings and that is what every christian should strive towards but then engaging in activities that are obviously deliberate actions into lust are not wise for any believer who wants to please god and guys see eh, we are not saying this thing is easy do you understand we are not saying it is easy this whole lost thing and stuff like hmm. that you, we've had to consciously consciously try our best to not fuel that loss. Those loss. You understand? You know, those things, they, 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 they get like foiled. You, you understand? Foil like it. If, if you foil it, but if you don't foil it, then it remains at a control level. At a control level, level. So, exactly. So we are not saying it is easy. It is a battle. Do you understand? We are not trying to be saints, all saints here. You understand? No, 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 no. Nobody you is know, trying to be the better person. We are not. We, we have our own struggles, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I wanted to even go down to practical things and tell yeah. you how we helped ourselves and how we got weak and how we rose out of it, yeah. right? So, um, this gray area we're talking about is areas like kissing, mm -hmm. areas like unduly close hugs, oh, unduly close, long, unduly long, long hugs, <laughs> all those unnecessary touching. In some certain sensitive areas, you are just playing and then you touch the lap. Mm -hmm. You are tapping current. Hey, tapping current. Yeah. What those people call charges. tapping current, trigger charges. You just feel a little. <laughs> <laughs> See that? <laughs> that? <laughs> that little. <laughs> You're raising your, your desire to be consumed. And every Christian should consider their bodies like dry wood. Yeah. Dry wood. And a dry wood that doesn't want to be born does not stay near fire. Yeah, or near charges. Near you don't even stay near sparks. So all those things are sparks that can set you ablaze. And the right time to be ablaze is when you are married with your spouse. Like, burn me. Burn me away. You know, like, I want to burn for you. <laughs> 
that's the right time when you will be born in your body is born in with love, love. With it will now be deep affectionate love that you you feel so pure yeah. with it yeah lust comes with its own impurities and its own you know its own guilt and stuff like that yeah so for us we decided that we are not gonna kiss until we get married and god helped us and that did not happen we never kissed i had never kissed anybody in my life she had never kissed anybody in her life and we said two nice good <laughs> we are not going to kiss until we get married yeah because that is the beginning the kiss the lips is like the entry point to the to powerhouse the you know powerhouse down there yes yeah. <laughs> so it's when you start <laughs> kissing that then you start feeling some things down there like, ah it's like you want to go on to base two <laughs> and if you have decided that I don't want to go to base two, then don't even start base don't one. Don't even start base one. Don't that even is, start base that one. Is the, that is the main essence of what we are saying. Honestly. You know, number one, set your heart. Mm -hmm. Let your heart guide you. That You know those things that when you do them, you get trickle charges. We don't even need to tell you. Honestly. To be honest, if, we are, if our aim is to serve God, is to please God in our bodies, in our thoughts, in our actions, in our lives then nobody needs to tell you actually the holy spirit is there to convince you to exactly. tell you that this thing that you are doing you know the way it used to make you feel down there in your powerhouse you know the way it used to make you feel even all over your body you know the charges you get and so it's nobody sweet needs to, it's sweet and it's hard it's hard not to want those things mm -hmm. sometimes you, you are already doing it before you even pull yourself back that no this is too far this is too far mm -hmm. if i do you know for us eh, there was a time as something as little, let me even just give this example. Maybe you guys will even think we are too extreme, but we'll give you. I'll give you our reasons. We'll give you our reasons. There was a time when we just had our relationship. I had not seen this man for a very long time, <laughs> and then when we saw each other, we don't kiss normal normal. We are giving that one as a because we already had knowledge that okay, no, we no. don't want to. Hey. Thank you for the knowledge. No, no. We had decided that that was not going to. We had decided that that was not going to happen, but. We hugged each other. It was like, mm. oh, I've missed you. I've missed you so much. Just oh. like that. Guys. And the hug was getting long. <laughs> and long. And long. Ah! Brother, I was like, <laughs> Brother of Zion has gone. <laughs> we we're not Whoa. like, by the time that, by the time that happened, when we saw each other again, we we're like, no. That should not happen. That should not that repeat should itself. Not repeat so, and someone will be like, Abba, just hug. Mm. Yes, just hug. There are hugs and, and there, there are hugs. hugs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we had to bring ourselves to that point. That, and that, that, this is self, self leadership, self discipline, self evaluation. In fact, we evaluated it individually. I mean, the next time we saw each other, I yeah. think the next day. It was so funny. And like, that is why. Let me just come in. Sorry for cutting you, babe. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That is why I always uh, advocate that get a spouse that is that is under God. Mm -hmm. Someone that fears God. Yeah. Someone that is under the influence of the Holy Spirit. When something is wrong, you don't need to say too much. Mm -hmm. Okay? You don't need to say too much. That time when we saw each other, after a long time, we were emotional and mm -hmm. we were you are human beings. Okay? Yeah. So, so that is not easy. I told you. It's we not just easy. hugged <laughs> for quite a lengthy mm -hmm. time that normal when you want to greet somebody when you want to greet your brother your sister you just hug normally mm -hmm. we hugged a little longer and okay that felt good and we after talking and go we left but we both of us in our, in our individual places individual. felt convinced that no we, we 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 did something that was lost no that's not right mm -hmm. and by the time we are going to meet each other it was like i have something to tell you i have something to tell you i was like yeah that's that's <laughs> i was like uh yesterday that hug was too much i was gonna say the same thing yeah. you know it was just like okay i think we are on the same page here. so <laughs> you exactly. know it wasn't tough at all unlike when you you are with someone that doesn't even say anything wrong with touching your private parts and i don't want to use all the words you know and you are saying I don't want to do this anymore. You're like, what's the big deal now? Exactly. Are we are yeah, not really. Not we are not, re we are not having. We are not having the main thing now. Please run from those people, though. If you want to please God, I will tell you the truth. My that's own that's gospel my own truth. truth. <laughs> run from them. Be with that people. That depends on you. Come closer you know? to me, baby. You are too far. Come close. Come close. <laughs> Be with people who are desiring that you grow in the Lord. Mm -hmm. People that are interested in seeing you accomplish your spiritual goals. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Not people that are telling you that no now, Abba now. All right. So mm -hmm. that is how far that is too far. Like we consider kissing too far. And see, there are people that can kiss and not feel anything. Maybe because they've kissed like a million people. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But there are sincere people that know that this thing means a lot to them. Then don't go around it. Yeah. Don't play around fire if you don't want to be born. Even the Bible says it that a man cannot put fire under his bosom and his expect bosom. himself not to be born. Yeah. You understand? Now, for some people, that's why I said, watch your heart. That's the key point. Some people, this one that I held my my wife like this, just like this, they are already, you know, but my body is already doing my <laughs> even though that sounds weird. But see, know thyself. That's and don't people. entertain anything that makes you feel guilty anything yeah. that makes your heart leap beats, yeah. except you know anything that makes your heart leap or skip beats unnecessarily don't entertain it it's like butterflies in your belly mm -hmm. but you need those butterflies in little very very controlled measures yes and that's where i wanted to just come in in our way of still maintaining the butterflies while eliminating physical things like at least to the barest minimum was our communication we ran a long distance relationship and so this is something we'll talk about eventually so we ran a long distance relationship and we would always talk over the phone so if i was even a time when we just got into a relationship it's something that um, it was like, okay, what do you, what do you, what do you, it was sometimes it was like, okay, what's our knowledge on, uh, will I say breaking the veil, you know, yeah. discuss, having those discussions, and we were like, okay, sometimes it would result into talking for that. talks, if you get what I mean, and me, I knew that, okay, he, it wasn't probably, it wasn't really affecting him, no. but me, it's out few all those charges all even those from conversation. conversation and it's not even sexting no it's yes. not it's not talking too dirty on the phone no. yeah. just talking about okay um you're a virgin don't worry i'm a virgin too when it's time we're going to find a way out of it i've read some things i know blah, something blah, 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 blah. and that was not that just kept giving us some thoughts that mm -hmm. was not helping her and we yeah. had to pull Stop exactly. I'll like just, just like say, let's let's leave this conversation still. When, when we, we are, are about to get closer, married, yeah. yeah. And when we got when we we're about to get married, the fact it wasn't even like affecting me anymore. Yeah. Funny enough, it was just play, basically education. Okay, we have to prepare your mind. We're about to do this, so we have to prepare. We just must prepare. You cannot enter marriage like clueless, yeah. And that's why we actually started the conversations again, but you know. We had to stop at a point. We had to, I had to be sincere with him. I told him that this thing, eh, let's let's just let's just reduce, let's cut it safe, let's even completely cut it, and that really helped. So, talking about how to keep those tricky charges, even in those conversations, without having those conversations, just telling each other, oh, I love you, you know how much we love each other, how much we respect each other. How much we? I would literally be having butterflies sometimes. Just um, talking. That's a no butterflies. Like I don't like, want to change the topic. We would release another video yeah, on how we maintain romance. Into, yeah. Now romance is not all about physical and touching you. That's what people call romance. Ah, more romance around. One. But that is not what romance is. Romance yeah. is the gestures of love that you use to affirm love for your partner. But don't and, worry. <laughs> Let's keep it. Let's keep it. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's our next that video, our we, video, we'll do it on our next video. Yeah. Our yeah, next video will be on that. how we sustain romance and how you can sustain romance in a godly relationship yeah. without physical intimacy. We're going to tell you all what we did, certain things we did, sacrifices we made, and then maybe you will learn a few things from that. Yeah. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it, like it, subscribe and join the Star Wars family then comment and share 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 share, share. also i want to see comment like we want to see you comment what are the uh things you have decided not to do like i know a friend who told me that herself and her fiance used to kiss but they had to tell each other that no we have to stop this thing because every time they kissed it made them feel like they should go further and konji is real and i told her you guys did the right thing so for us we didn't even go to the level of kissing but there are levels we got to that say no stop this is not good. This, that, those levels, eh? 
they are your alpha is too far levels in summary right mm -hmm. so make sure that you're sensitive about this um, extent and you put a stop to it like yeah. as much as possible avoid physical uh interactions yes and no matter how far you've gone it is never too late to say okay let's halt it right here let's retrace our steps yes let's take yes. stock it is never too late no matter even how if far you've gone to the farthest even the if blackest you've areas. gone darkest you yes. can always say okay at this okay, junction, at this junction we have to stop and yes. if he's not willing to stop leave him <laughs> Yes, it's where would I start though. from? Uh, we're gonna go. leave him, except your priority is not Oliver. to please God. Oliver, <laughs> it's mostly men that pressure women for this kind of things, but yeah. it's true. Leave her or leave him. Yeah, set the priorities right. Let your standard be your standard. I want to please God. Number one, mm -hmm. before I want to have a man or a woman in my life, or before I want to get married. Who even yeah. says that you get married? What if Jesus comes tomorrow? All your <laughs> married dreams, oh, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, know? so that's it, Sha. Yes, that's it for. We know we already rounded up and then we yeah, came again. Yeah, we came again. So <laughs> this time we are rounding up. We are rounding up. Drop your comments. Let's know your opinions on yeah. this matter. I know some people don't agree with us, especially on the kissing part. But then that's our truth and our opinion. We're and not we enforcing are free it. To keep your yes, opinions. we are free to keep your opinions. And that's mm -hmm. this is a social network. We're not enforcing our opinions on anybody. But we believe that there are people who these opinions have helped form a certain standard for them and we are glad that, that we are a part of your journey in, in, in that. Yeah, so until we come here again, keep loving and keep believing, we are the, the Star Wars Lovers. Lovers. Peace. <laughs> Why did you do? <laughs> <laughs>